today so that we can work on learning more about our comparing words. We're working on learning about our words that help us describe one thing against another so that we can talk about what we see that is the same and what we see that is different when we are looking at different things. But before we learn a new comparing word together today, let's get our wiggles out. Show me your wiggling fingers. Very good. And now shake your arms and roll your neck. And now we're ready to begin. Today we are going to be learning about our comparing word short. This is our word short. Can you say it with me? This is the word short. Very good. I'm going to put it on our board so we can focus on it and learn a little bit more about it together. Now, when we talk about something that is short, we are talking about something that is the opposite of tall. And remember, opposite means that they are different. So if something is tall and stretches up high into the sky, that means when we're talking about something that is short, it stays down low. It doesn't stretch up high into the sky. So, can you say, when something's short, it stays down low? Ready? When something's short, it stays down low. Very good. Now, let's see if we can think about anything that is short. What can you think of that is short? Kids, kids are short. Very good, kids are short when you compare them to adults, right? And what else? What else is short? Kittens. Kittens are short when you compare them to cats. Very good. And what else? Very good. Puppies. Puppies are short when you compare them to dogs because they stay down lower to the ground, right? All right. So we've used our ears to listen and think about our word short. Let's get ready to use our eyes to look at our word short and see what else we can learn about it together. Our word short, we can spell it just like this. S-H-O-R-T. Can you spell it with me? All right, here we go. S-H-O-R-T. Very good. And what does that spell? Short. Awesome. And what does it mean when something is short? It stays down low to the ground. Very good. Now, I have a couple of toys for us to look at and see if we can learn a little bit more about our concept of short together. All right. I have Pikachu. All right. And remember, when we are looking at whether something is tall, we have to make sure they're sitting on the same line. And if short is the opposite of tall, guess what? That means we have to make sure they're sitting on the same line too. So, I will hold my Pikachus on the same line together so that you can look and see which one stretches up high and is tall and which one stays down low in a short? Is this one tall or short? Very good. This one is tall because it stretches up higher to the sky. And that means that this Pikachu, is he short or tall? He's short because he stays down low to the ground. The top of this Pikachu is closer to the ground than this Pikachu. That means that this Pikachu is short. Very good. All right, let's look at another animal. 
friend that I have here. I have two teddy bears. And look, I'm gonna hold them on that same imaginary line so that their feet are together. Which one is short? Which one is closer to the ground than the other one, the top of it? Is it this one or is it this one? Very good, this one is short compared to this one. That's because this teddy bear, my purple teddy bear, his head is closer to the ground than my black teddy bear. That means that this one is tall and this one is short. Very good. All right, let's see if we can draw some pictures and talk about our concept of short a little bit more together. So, I'm going to draw our line that everything will sit on because when we are talking about short and tall, we have to make sure everything is sitting on the same line so we can see how tall or how short they are against each other, right? We have to make sure everybody is starting in the same place. So, I'm going to draw a little flower. And I think I will draw a dinosaur. Is my flower or is my dinosaur short? We have both of them on the line starting at the bottom. And we said that short means it stays down low. It stays down low. So it's closer to the ground. Which one has the top closest to the ground? Well, let's start here and let's start walking and see which one we get to the top of first. Look at that! We made it to the top of our flower! But there's still a lot of space left on our dinosaur. That means that our flower is shorter than our dinosaur because the flower is closer to the ground. Very good! Okay, let's see, what else can we draw? Oh, I know. Let's draw our skyscraper again real quick. and all of its big windows. Big windows are quicker to draw. We'll do big windows and a door at the bottom. All right, we said that flower is short when we compare it to the dinosaur and that our dinosaur is tall compared to the flower. Is the flower or the skyscraper short when we compare them to each other. Which one is short, the skyscraper or the flower? The flower, very good. And let's look, we'll start walking up. We made it to the top of the flower before we made it to the top of the building. That means the flower is short. Now, is the dinosaur short? Or is the skyscraper short? All right, let's start walking and see. We made it to the top of our dinosaur. But look, there's still more space until we reach the top of our skyscraper. That means the dinosaur is short compared to the skyscraper. The flower is short compared to the dinosaur. But the dinosaur is short when we compare it to the skyscraper. Very good. I think we're ready to find our short triangle over here. Are you ready? Okay, now before we look for our 
short triangle, we said we need to do what? When we are looking at if something is short or if something is tall, we need to make sure that they are all sitting on the same line, right? So we have our line. We'll put our triangles here side by side on the line together so that we can compare them because we have to make sure they're starting at the same spot. And if we're looking for something that is short, that means that it stays down low, right? Stays down low to the ground. So let's look at our triangles and see if we can find our short triangle. Now, I'm going to walk my fingers up until we get to the top of one of the triangles. Are you ready? <gasps> we made it to the top of this triangle. Guess what? There's still space on this one and there's still space on that one. That means this is our short triangle because it stays down lower, closer to our ground line that we lined our triangles up on. Very good. This is our short triangle. Awesome job. Thank you so much for coming and learning more about our comparing words with me today and learning all about our comparing word, short, our opposite word of tall. Our tall things stretch up high into the sky, but our short things stay down low to the ground, right? And you helped me think of all the different things that are short around us. And we were able to look at our dinosaur and our flower and see that our flower is short compared to our dinosaur, but our dinosaur is short compared to our skyscraper. And we learned that we have to make sure when we are talking about short and tall things that we keep them all on the same line together so that we can compare them and make sure they're all starting at the same spot together and see which one is closer to the ground. And we found our short triangle over there. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.